silver finishes. What do you choose? Stainless? Paint product? Hard chrome? Okay, folks, we're back at more of our finishing series, farms finishing series. Uh, we're going to go over silver finishes, okay? And and there's there's a lot to think about there when you're going to look at a, a, at a silver type finish. You've got basically stainless steel, all right. And this this gun here, this pistol is one of our Riptide uh, custom models. And this one we actually overcoat the stainless. We overcoat it uh, with a Cerakote product, and then we end up polishing out the sides and, and brush polishing all the all the small accent parts. So that's one option you have. Or you can go all stainless. You can have the stainless uh, gun matted, all the parts matted. You can have a combination of the stainless being brush polished um, or matted or even high polish. The high polish is, you know, in some people's um, in some people's envelope, they like that. Uh, it is going to be very shiny. It's going to show a lot of fingerprints, things of that nature, and scratches. It shows scratches very easy. So again, depending on what you're going to use for your application of, of your pistol. Uh, here's uh, one of our Riptide series in the Freedom series. And this one here, we basically uh, did our Yukon coat over top of it, which is a basically a Cerakote style ceramic coating. And this one's in our SNS tungsten, um, and it, it, it is an attractive silver coating. Uh, so that's another option. Again, when you're looking for colors, uh, the spray-on uh, style-based uh, coatings are really, you know, a way to go when you're looking at certain colors. So um, the next thing is is going to be our HD Chrome, which is our hard chrome. This is a, a, a satin matte finish that we do on, on hard chrome with uh, the, all the small parts, the barrel, everything else was our Black Shield Nitro Carburizing um, for the small accent parts. Now, one of my favorite, it is expensive. It is one of the more expensive finishes to do, but one of my favorites is the Hard Chrome. And why? Hard Chrome is gonna be extremely durable, okay? Uh, you're, it is going to actually have um, about a 70 to 72, 73 Rockwell on the surface. Um, and it is extremely rust uh, resistant. So again, if you're in an area where you have high humidity, salt water, whatever, the, the hard chrome really works out well. Um, again, you still want to oil it. You still want to treat it like a firearm and, and, and keep it lubricated properly in that. But it, it, the hard chrome is just a fantastic, phenomenal choice. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, we'll go with the stainless steel next. Okay, the stainless steel product. Um, I do like stainless steel. I like the way the brush looks. Um, there's there's a, um, a, a real heritage look to the stainless, especially when you polish it out and do a little brush polishing to it. It just really brings out a beauty, a beauty to the gun. Um, it, it, especially even when you have some contrasting, if you have a contrasting other color, like this, the, the SNS tungsten and then the stainless, or you just mat the entire gun and then brush out the sides and brush out the small parts. Um, drawbacks on stainless. Um, a lot of people think stainless will not rust. Um, total fallacy, okay? All of the uh, parts that are made for firearms have to be heat treated for the most part. There's very few soft parts in a, in a firearm. Um, and the stainless steel also has to be heat treated. So again, you have to use a 400 series stainless steel uh, to produce a firearm and have it of you know a quality that's going to last. So it won't gall. So again, what you want to do is is you want to definitely keep oil on your stainless uh, firearms also, um, and you know treat it just like a, a black oxide gun basically. Uh, is it more rust re resistant than black oxide? Yes, it is most definitely. But again. I've seen so many guns come in for rebuild and refinish that are stainless that are uh, pitted, rusted, everything else because somebody left them in a, 
a, a gun rag or, 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 or a shooting bag and it's got moisture in it, and then they've just left it from the rain from the weekend or whatever, next thing you know, rust develops. Um, can that stuff be cleaned up and, and fixed? Some, most of the time it can be, but again, there's more labor involved in, in getting that done. Also, when you like as the Chrome product, the HD Chrome product, you've got a really hard shell on there. You know, 7072 Rockwell is extremely hard. That is harder than most tools and, and uh, most harder than most uh, even fixtures and jigs that we make for the machine shop. So the hard chrome also is something that you know is harder than at 72 Rockwell Plus. Um, it's harder than most tools. It's harder than most fixtures and jigs that we even use in the machine shop environment in very harsh conditions with coolants and everything else on. Um, also, the stainless will scratch easily. You know, you'll you'll get a you'll get a stainless gun. You'll be like, boy, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, until you start using it in your holster and everything, and it's all roughed up and scratched within no time. So again, remember that, that and also the, the stainless steel, you cannot heat treat that stainless steel as hard as that we can the carbon steel. So again, that's just another limitation of the 400 series stainless or any of the heat treatable stainlesses that you know, you're gonna, it's gonna be very difficult to get the, the amount of heat treat out of the stainlesses as you can the carbon uh, pistols. Um, but they do hold up real well, they last good. Um, like I said, you just have to understand what you have and, and take some precaution and make sure you're oiling it and, and doing that with it. And then you have our, our Yukon based coatings, um, which again are like our Cerakotes. And these do hold up really well um, on very tightly fit pistols, like such as our match grade pistols and that. I don't usually recommend these finishes. Why? Because we fit the frame and slide so tight that by the time that you relap it in, if you, if you do the spray on coating afterwards and after we fit the pistol, you won't be able to get the frame and slide back on. So we'll have to relap the rails again to get everything back on because the, the, the coating, the actual spray on coating goes on so thick compared to hard chrome or iron bond or you know our black shield. Um, or any of the other finishes that you normally use. So, um, but there is a place, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the spray on coatings, but there is applications for it. You have people that, um, again, why do we do this on our stainless guns? Why do we overcoat the stainless guns and then brush out the sides and small parts? Well, because the uh, Yukon Co ceramic based coatings are definitely more scratch resistant and corrosion resistant than just plain stainless steel. So you'll notice that we put a press check cut on this. We design it this way, not just so it has a press check cut on it, but also because we can actually fill this area um, with the, with the, the uh, ceramic coating, which it will take more holster wear than regular stainless. Um, so again, some of it is not just for looks, a lot of it is also for design. Um, and even with these styles of coatings, or even straight stainless, you'll look at how we dehorn and radius all the corners. And a lot of people, if you want your firearm sharp on the edges, fine, we can do that for you. I do prefer the dehorning, a nice radius dehorning on everything. Uh, why do I like radius dehorning? Um, I, I, a few reasons. One, uh, it's good for carry, it's good for holstering, it doesn't rip your holster up at all because of the sharp edges. Also, wear resistance. I mean, Engineering 101, uh, a sharp corner is gonna break down uh, from wear 10 times faster than a radius corner, okay? Now, a lot of people say, well, Bob, what about a corner break? And I mean, okay, corner break, you mean, okay, running a 45 degree chamfer around the nose or other parts of the, of the, of the, of the firearm. <clears throat> no, I don't like that. Why? Uh, because now you just put two sharp corners on there. Uh, you got a 45 degree angle, both tangent points have sharp corners now, both sharp corners are going to break down faster with finish than on any radius that you ever put on a product. So again, it's just, it's just some simple little things like that that will give you some longevity to your finishes and your firearms. So again guys, that's, that's where we're at with the silver finishes. Um, if you got questions, again, feel free to email us, uh, give us a call. 
Check out our website at FusionFirearms.com. We really appreciate you watching these videos. We've been watching some just spectacular growth in our our uh, YouTube channel and, and Instagram and Facebook and all that. And uh, it just seems like there's a lot of people that want, that want some tech help and have a real uh, blessed interest in the 1911 platform. So we really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.